Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Lee Fitzpatrick, and I chair the uh, NB2 Management Committee. And it's my pleasure to uh, introduce this afternoon's topic, which is focused on the Northern Breeding Business uh, RDNA Strategic Partnership, otherwise known as NB2. Um, the philosophy behind NB2 is a strategic RDNA partnership for the North Australian beef industry, delivering sustainable, adaptable, resilient and profitable businesses. And so I thought I'd just uh, give you a, a, a bit of background to NB2, which is essentially a joint um, NABRIC, um, North Australia Beef Research Council and uh, Meat and Livestock Australia initiative. And interestingly, um, it was initiated by the producer members of NABRIC. NABRIC's made up of 11 regional beef research committees six in Queensland, three in the Territory, and two in WA, the Kimberley and the Pilbara. Um, the chairs of those regional committees are all producers um, in their various regions, and they sit on um, NABRIC, the, the, the council, along with representatives of research funding organisations, research provider organisations, such as um, the, uh, the three departments, that are relevant to uh, the, the NABRIC region, which is essentially Queensland, the Territory, and the top end of, uh, of WA. Um, universities, um, um, the cattle uh, um, industry organisations, um, et cetera. And so NB2 came about because at a NABRIC meeting in 2018, we were briefed on other strategic uh, partnerships that MLA were funding, such as the Genetics um, Consortium and the Livestock Productivity Partnership. And the producer members of NABRIC took the view that they really, although the, the, those partnerships were fine, um, they, were, they were seen as largely Southern centric, even though the outcomes from them are uh, relevant to Northern Australia, but the producers took the view that there really should be a strategic RDNA partnership that's focused on the, the Northern industry. And um, that's really where, uh, where NB2 arose from. Um, the other interesting thing about NB2 is that producers, apart from initiating it, have been embedded in its development and implementation from day one. Um, they participated in a workshop in, in August of last year following the uh, um, Northern Beef Research Update Conference, which um, NABRIC hosts every three years. And then uh, there were producers on a, a working party that uh, developed the, uh, the proposal that went to uh, MLA um, and brought us to where we are today. And so, some of the drivers behind NB2. Um, the first one, it was um, an issue that was first highlighted in um, 2014 in the uh, report on a large project called Cash Cow, which many of you will be familiar with, which highlighted a level of calf wastage um, in northern breeding herds at a level, I think, above what many of us would have anticipated, um, was calculated to conservatively be costing the industry $54 million a year. And in a quarter of the herds studied in that project, losses between pregnancy and weaning were at least 15% or three times higher than what was potentially achievable. And so this issue of calf wastage um, became a, 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 um, one of the top five priorities um, that NABRIC fed into MLA's consultation framework and annual project call. It was number one for um, in a number of the last five or six years and certainly in the top five. And so um, it seemed um, pretty obvious that if we were going to develop a, a strategic partnership focused on Northern Australia, then focusing on the breeding herd uh, was the way to go. Another driver for NB2 came out of the work um, of, uh, done by Phil Holmes and, and Ian McLean, um, looking at 
uh, the northern beef businesses. Um, and the conclusion in, in the uh, reports that, that they produced that a significant proportion of northern beef businesses are not sustainable in the long term using their very broad definition of sustainable. Um, more recently, the northern beef situation analysis that was initiated by the CRC for developing northern Australia and carried out by uh, by CSIRO and others highlighted failure to adopt as the number one issue for the northern industry. And so, uh, and then this is an issue that we've been aware of for, for many years and and have tried to address in various ways. And but it was certainly interesting to see, you know, only at the beginning of this year it highlighted again as a, a significant issue for the industry. And the last driver was a perceived need to both increase the quantum and the diversity of investment um, in the, the overall beef industry, but, uh, but certainly in the northern beef industry. Um, there was a paper produced a couple of years ago by the Australian Farm Institute that uh, highlighted uh, the need to diversify and increase investment in, uh, in all the agricultural industries. And so just to carry it, continue with my uh, presentation, the um, NB2 aims to promote and facilitate um, increased and diverse investment in RDNA for the benefit of the northern beef industry, increased engagement in RDNA by northern beef producers, um, sustainable increases in productivity and profitability from northern rangeland systems, and increased conversion of R&D outcomes into uh, industry business outcomes and change of, uh, of practice. And so NB2 also has a, uh, a quantitative objective um, by 2027. And so the initial uh, proposed life of NB2 is seven years um, from now. And uh, the quantitative uh, objective is to yield $20 million in net benefits per annum to at least 250 beef business enterprises that the uh, program uh, plans to engage with over its seven year life um, through increased production of, uh, of live weight of, of cattle, um, of 10 million kilograms live weight of cattle. Um, so, this is, will be achieved by, um, over the life of NB2, um, a 5% increase in weaning rate, a 1% decrease in herd mortality rate, and a 10 kg increase in sale weight of cattle at the same age, um, on average across the, uh, the 250 beef businesses that uh, engage with NB2 in its uh, initial seven year life. Now this diagram is an attempt, and I'll leave you to judge uh, how successful it is, um, to illustrate NB2 um, in, in a, a visual way. And so NB2 is essentially a large extension adoption program. The, the large um, green circle to the right of that diagram, um, it, it illustrates there the approach of NB2 is to engage with groups of producers in peer-to-peer uh, in -peer learning, um, establishing baselines for, for their particular beef enterprises um, of, of productivity, and then having a conversation around what might be done to increase that productivity and profitability, um, and measuring that over a number of years um, to demonstrate uh, um, achievement um, in that area. And so that, that extension adoption um, pathway to practice pillar, for want of a better word, is supported by three research and development pillars, one focused on the herd, uh, one focused on the feed base, and one focused on the environment. And one of the things that NB2 sets out to do is to look back at uh, past research that uh, um, has been undertaken and is uh, is 
you know, scientifically valid and well proven, but for whatever reason has not been well adopted by the northern industry. The, the other element of it is there, uh, we know there, there's work that's been done in the past that was initially well adopted, but for whatever reason um, has perhaps fallen off a little over time. And so um, we've contracted a review of, uh, of past R&D in the northern uh, industry um, and looking at, uh, at what is there that uh, is potentially of value to the industry that has not been uh, well adopted and to identify any gaps that uh, there might be in, uh, in uh, R&D needs and feed that into um, the pathway to practice extension and adoption um, pillar. Um, by way of developing breeder management systems um, and uh, um, implementing them in particular enterprises. The other thing that we would expect will come out of that pathway to practice pillar is particular enterprises or producer groups may um, identify issues that require further R&D and so the arrows that feed back to the left of the diagram indicate that producer identified issues that require further research and development will be fed back into those three R&D pillars and uh, um, produce um, new research to address those issues. And so initially um, we're, we're in the process of implementing the pilot stage of NB2. We're looking to engage with um, um, six groups of uh, producers, of five to ten producers per group, um, essentially uh, um, two in Queensland, one in the Territory and one in the top end of WA, along with two um, other groups, one focused on corporate um, um, enterprises and one focused on Indigenous pastoralism. Um, and then once we've uh, worked our way through that pilot and, and uh, are confident that we're in a position to, uh, to go forward, then that'll be ramped up to uh, engage with at least 250 beef enterprises over the life of NB2. And so the outcomes from NB2 should be measured and improved business performance. Um, and the, be the benefits uh, across the various stakeholders, the benefits to industry um, include enhanced business capacity, increased productivity and profitability, new technical support for the industry, long-term economic and environmental sustainability and capacity building. Um, for funders of R&D in the northern industry, um, NB2 will allow more targeted RDNA and a higher probability of adoption of research outcomes. For RDNA agencies, um, NB2 will enable and support high priority um, RDNA activities. And for the community, NB2 offers uh, a mechanism for efficient, effective and acceptable use of taxpayers' funds. Um, I've only got two more slides. I thought I should uh, just mentioned where NB2 fits within the Red Meat Strategic Plan, uh, the Beef Industry Strategic Plan known as uh, Red Meat 2030, under the pillar Our People. Um, NB, the the uh, objectives are um, people being part of the Australian red meat and livestock industry see it as attractive now into the future, attracting and retaining good people developing skilled and capable people and enabling practice change, which is uh, one of the key things that NB2 is about under our livestock, ensuring whole of industry animal health and welfare standards and systems, adopting animal health, welfare, biosecurity and production best practice, and optimising animal production for the environment and markets. And under our environment, advancing sustainability frameworks and supporting their adoption, moving to a carbon neutral industry by 2030, expanding our role in environmental stewardship and building on our proactive approach to climate variability. And just to, I mentioned this uh, at the beginning, but just to highlight 
um, the findings from the uh, Northern Beef Situation Analysis. There's a need to improve the translation of, uh, of proven farm practices for the majority of the Northern industry. And there's an ongoing need for R&D for profitability and productivity gains. For uh, Now, the, the, this um, says the top businesses, and I don't disagree with that, but I think there's an opportunity to move the next group of uh, um, businesses uh, up to align with uh, with the the recognised top businesses um, as a result of NB2. And so with that, I'll pass you over to uh, Nigel Tompkins from MLA.